In this video we are going to be looking over this Minolta XD 35mm film SLR camera equipped with the Minolta MD Rocker X 50mm f1.7 prime lens. And uh, what I want to do here is demonstrate this in a way that allows you to get a good look at it as if you're holding it in your hand and you're seeing all the things that you want to see. Uh, I should comment, the XD is the same camera as the XD11 here in America, and I believe the XD7 in, I believe, Europe. I think the XD was the version that was sold in Japan or something, but they're the same camera. And uh, a lot of these early XD, XD series cameras came with a leatherette, a black, that was uh, soft and very susceptible to shrinking. So a lot of those cameras do not look very good today. But this one, somebody put a very nice uh, new coating on here, and I think it looks very nice. They did a nice job. And so uh, you can see that here and also in the still photos. But now on to the testing. I've got some batteries in here. Uh, they are not included in the sale, but they're here for my testing. And so we're going to set it at 1 1,000th. I've got the lens stopped down so we can look in here and watch the blade stop down. So here we go at 1 1,000th of a second. 1 500th. 1 250th. 1 1 25th. 1 60th. 1 30th. 1 15th. One eighth, one fourth, one half, one full second, and then there's an X setting, which I believe is the flash sync. I think it's one one hundredth of a second, if I remember right. Then there's a bulb setting where the Lens stays stopped down and the shutter stays open as long as I hold the button until I let up. And then there's an O setting and I think that is one that works even if your batteries are dead. I'm not sure it's, it's some setting that uh, I believe works without batteries. But anyway, uh, let's see, the next thing to check will be the self timer. So let's advance that and start that up. Okay, so that works. And if we look over here, there's a stop down preview button, and if we look in the lens, we can see that's working the way it should. And the lens release mount allows us to take that off. And then we can look here on the front. The aperture follower is sprung properly. Uh, the, the mirror looks okay and uh, everything seems to work well here. I did notice there's a few little scuffs up here on the filter or on the uh, focus screen and when I look through the viewfinder I do see some specks so I don't know I don't think it's on the surface there it must be inside but there's some some specks in there and there are some areas there that look a little bit scratched so uh, just probably more cosmetic than anything else but be aware of that when you look through here you're going to see uh, a few specks and if you look closely you might see some areas that look a little bit scratched. If we set that aside for a moment and look at the lens we can see the focus is very nice and smooth as is typical on these Minolta lenses. It has nice clicks on the aperture ring and when we set it at a small aperture and work the blades manually we see they're very quick and snappy and if I open it wide up and point an LED flashlight into the back and I look through I see some dust well some dust on the surface here I, and possibly some internal dust I do not see any fungus in there or any bad haze or anything really bad I think if we just were to clean up the front and rear element it would probably be really nice lens 
to mount this back on we line up the red dot there and turn it and note that this does have the little MD tab on the XD that catches the, the tab on the lens which helps communicate some things to the camera. Uh, it comes with this, this metal generic unbranded front cap that fits on the front so you wear that. On the back, now this one has a built-in nice shutter blind here that uh, is able to, you're able to block off stray light from entering here, so if you're using the camera on a tripod, um, light entering the viewfinder on the back when your eye isn't right up to it will not affect the metering because you can just flip that up. Um, some cameras just had a slide on thing or something that blocked that, but this one actually has a little switch, which is just a little luxury feature. Over here is where we set exposure compensation and that control allows you to go from plus two to minus two and we'll set it at zero. The ASA, or as most people would know today, would be ISO. You just push this little button here and turn this ring all the way from 12 to 3200. I'll set it back at 200 because that's about right. Now, uh, the way that this camera works this was a, a one that has both aperture and shutter priority as well as manual. And so if we put this on, on aperture priority, and I do this, and I've got this set at, at the minimum, and I turn off this light, Oh wait, okay, I should be setting it at shutter priority. Um, yeah, and, and then we'll see here. So now, if I've got this light shining bright in here, the lens was stopped way down. If I take that light off, it's not stopped down as far. For any given shutter speed, so now if I go with a faster shutter speed, it should be a wider open lens, and it certainly was. And then if I turn this light back on, at the same shutter speed it should be a more stop-down lens, which it was. So we can see the metering is working there in doing that. Now, if I do aperture priority, then it's uh, what I set here. And so let's watch here, because it's stopped way down. If I were to open that up, Sounded like a faster speed to me. I'm going to set the ASA down to a low setting, like 25, just so that because we've got so much light right here. So now if I set this at, at 16, that was a pretty slow shutter speed. If I keep the camera in the same orientation and, and uh, open that up, much faster shutter speed. So I'm seeing that the camera metering is responding. If we look in the back here, we pull up on the rewind crank and open it up. Uh, it's a nice metal rewind crank, by the way. Um, you can see that working there. Uh, the camera looks pretty nice inside. We can see the film transport working. We can see the shutter curtains moving up to set for, for use. Um, as we move over here to the film door, I'm not feeling a lot of residue along these edges. It almost looks to me like somebody has done some work here. This looks like uh, some replacement foam stuck in here. So uh, somebody's probably cleaned out those those seals that are usually bad. And uh, so it looks like uh, that's probably been taken care of already. Pressure plate is uh, sprung. Yeah, feels about right. The door closes. And the crank resets right here. So all in all, a fairly nice example of the Minolta XD with a customized covering on here that somebody did a pretty nice job on 
and uh, there's no strap included with it but the original strap lugs are here and it's ready for you to put the strap of your choice on it.